Okay, so we've done two weeks, we're into the third week, and so the shoulder exercises are the same. You should be hitting your ranges by now, and today I'm gonna to give you some exercises to do for your legs, because you're probably getting a little bit deconditioned and wanting to exercise, but you can't do much for your shoulder apart from walk. So there's a couple of things that you can do that are really good body weight exercises that'll keep you moving, keep you motivated, and help you through that sort of week three mark. Okay, so I'm gonna give you four exercises to do. They're gonna involve a band, so if you've got a band, that's really handy, but they're mostly body weight, because you don't wanna be doing any resistance exercise after this weeks of two, three, because let's face it, your body still needs to heal, and any sort of excessive movement is gonna to put too much strain through there. So stick to the body weight, very light exercises, just to get your muscles and your legs working, keeping your tone up, keeping everything in check. Here are four things to do. So we're gonna do a TKE, total knee extension with a band. We're gonna get you doing a squat, body weight, we're going to get you doing a hip hinge, which is sort of mimicking the deadlift, and we're going to get you doing a lunge. So let's see how those go. Are you ready? Now, if you want to combine some of your shoulder exercises you're doing for the week in with this to save a little bit of time, you can actually do your TKE band with some abduction. So as you squeeze push your knee straight go into abduction and then back the both off like that so if you're doing 20 repetitions of that shoulder just do 10 on the right with 10 abductions and 10 on the left with 10 abductions Okay, so if you want to combine your hip hinge with your flexion, you can do it this way. When you go down into the hinge like that, do a repetition of flexion and come up. Okay, so again, you're combining the two, down to your flexion, into there. Now with the lunge, it's actually quite handy to have a bar here to balance on because you can't balance with the other hand. So if you were doing some of that single leg, or semi single leg like this where there's a little bit of balance you've got to be careful because you don't want to unbalance and move your arm so having this here just for stability it's really good 